Hey guys, Megan here. Um, today I'm going to be making kale chips. My mother-in-law actually requested me to do this video. So I'm bending over at the moment because my tripod can only do so much. So, um, it's only so tall. So, anywho, um, we're gonna make kale chips today. Um, the recipe that I have is Trisha Yearwood's recipe and I'll link it down below. Um, so I'm gonna kinda explain what I've got going on over here. So I have pre-measured all of my ingredients. I've got three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. It's all in this measuring cup. And I'm going to whisk that together really quick. Um, but before I do that, I will preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So let's do that. So that's going. So I'm going to whisk this together. And then, yeah, we'll do, we'll do the next step. You whisk all that together and then you just add your kale and you got to make sure your kale is de-stemmed and um, what else? Washed and de-stemmed and torn into one inch pieces. I just kind of tear it up. I don't like make sure they're all even or anything like that. I just kind of tear it up. Um, so that's what takes the longest in this recipe is getting the kale de-stemmed and washed. Um, but the reason I have this in a measuring cup, the mixture, on the recipe it says to use a large bowl, but I've realized it. this recipe calls for one pound of kale. And I've realized that doing it in a large bowl all together, it makes it harder to coat the kale. So I feel like if I drizzle this on top of it, it would be easier than having it all in the bottom of the bowl and trying to coat it evenly that way. So I'm gonna try that today, see if it works. I think it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna get the kale out and we're gonna de-stem and wash the kale. This is the kale that I'm using, kale greens. I picked this up at my local Walmart. Um, and then I've got my big bowl here. So we're just going to cut this open. And you guys, this whole bag is one pound. So that's what I'm saying when you're making a ton of kale. You really are making a ton of kale. So just kind of tearing it into pieces. And like I said, this is the part that takes the longest. What's good about like a bag like this, sometimes it doesn't have a bunch of stems in it. It just depends. So, it makes it a little bit easier on you, but uh, not, not a whole, whole lot, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be here a while. So, yeah. This is all of the kale, destemmed and all of that good stuff. I accidentally missed a piece there. I put all of the stems in this bag. Easier cleanup easier cleanup. So we got that going on. The oven is preheated. So I'm thinking instead of doing what I was originally going to do with drizzling the olive oil on top, I think I'm going to go ahead and get my baking sheet out. And I don't think, yeah, the baking sheet doesn't have to be coated because you're already using olive oil and all that good stuff on the kale. So it's not a big deal. So I'm going to get the baking sheet out do a layer of kale, drizzle it, mix it up, do it that way, because I think that would just be easier. 
So if I had a bigger bowl, I would maybe do it the other way, but I don't. This is my biggest bowl. <laughs> well, get my baking sheet out and just do a layer of kale, which kale does cook up a lot. You know, it shrivels just like spinach and all of that stuff does. So I'm pretty sure that we will be able to get all of this onto the sheet. Because last time I made it, I did it twice, and I think I can fit it all in here. I just gotta, you know, do good. So, and I'm just gonna drizzle some over this, like so. Do, do, do. And then mix it up. all coated you don't realize how much a pound of kale is so you have to de-stim it all and all of that but it's so good you guys i love it oh there goes my daughter moving the tripod she ran up to mommy sorry about that paisley moved the tripod so uh Okay, so there's that layer. Now we're gonna add some more. So we are going to stick this in the oven for 16 to 20 minutes. I'll start out at 16 and we'll see how that goes. But I will give you guys a close up shot of the kale here. All right. And set the timer for 16 minutes. Start. So now we just wait for it to bake. And I'm super excited. I do not like kale salad that much. Um, as you know, if you've watched my Weight Watchers or my weight loss videos, you've probably heard me say I'm not really a salad person, but I love kale chips. So it's an easy way to get in your greens. It's a lot healthier than potato chips. So, you know, try this recipe out. Um, hopefully this turns out well. If I have to separate it, I have to separate it, but we'll just see how this works out. There they are. And that's the whole pan. Like, I didn't have to separate it or anything. It cooked up that that nice, you know. Because now it's not even covering the pan when it was, like, up to here. Well, look at it. So, there you have it. There's the kale chips. And, um, they're addicting once you start. Some of the pieces might have more of the, uh, dressing mixture type thing that we did, um, than others but it's okay. I really like a lot of this stuff on the chip, but I'm a salty girl. Like, and I like, I like some salt. So, yeah. So, that's the recipe for kale chips. Super easy, uh, a super good way to get some, <laughs> something, some greens in. This girl wants to say hi. Tell them hi, say hi. Say hi. Do you want to try one? Watch, guys. She don't like them that much. Here. Try one. She probably thinks it's paper. Try it. Eat it. Okay. Here. Let's get a different one. Here. Try it. Eat it. Don't throw it in the floor. Now she's letting the dog eat it. Well, Paisley's not a big fan, but I like it, and I hope you guys do too. Um, <laughs> don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to help me get to 500 subscribers because that's my goal. That would be awesome if you would, you know, help a girl out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you have a great day. Comment any video requests you have down below. Shout out to my mother-in-law, Jackie. Thank you for requesting this video. Jackie, thank you for requesting this video. And 
it was super fun to do and it gives me an excuse to make more kale chips so <laughs> i'm excited uh yeah so like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you next time i can't do peace out with this baby in my arm maybe i can do it with the other hand okay ready ready paisley ready peace out She's trying, y'all. She's trying. Just don't don't hurt the camera. You gotta do it light, easy. Okay. So can you say bye? Say bye. Nope. We're just busy touching it. Okay. That's great. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>